Hey RBJ here. Uh, I wasn't going to make this video and then I decided this is just too important. Um, this is uh, my, uh, say my uh, um, canopy over my windows, my shades. And these are the ends. <clears throat> This end right here, that looks good, doesn't it? Got a screw here, screw on the other side, and a hole here for this rod to come out of. That rod's connected to this spring, which is about a foot long, and uh, you turn this to get your spring tension. So this, you, you pull it and then you just uh, hook it onto the, uh, the, your little catch on the RV. Well these, see there's nothing to them. You have a hole here and it's open so that it will fit over the end of the tube. And this sits right on inside there. Uh, this little goody here. It seems like uh, they're not making them anymore. I usually get a lot of stuff online, couldn't find it online. Um, so then I went to the uh, big local dealer here. I'm not going to mention its name. But uh, <clears throat> they are very good at uh, what they do. The problem with that is you kind of have to like you know request service take your RV down there and then you get the uh, I'd say you get the real experienced um, RV technicians if not you have to go to the front counter and you get the two uh, you know uh, the two young teenage girls I think they're teenagers they could could be 20 I'm I'm kind of old myself so <clears throat> this is a cap. This is a pipe, a PVC uh, pipe cap in to cap off a, uh, I think that's a one and a half. I think it's an inch and a half. So this, this, this was a little bit longer, deeper. I didn't want it to be deep because I wanted it to... Uh, not reach this uh, material so I cut a little bit off of this goodie here hacksaw vice grip it's dead easy and um, in the end I drilled a hole for this I just took my drill bits and inserted it in here and used that one it's perfect fit and in this one I had rivets that would hold it in place. So with uh, this one, I used uh, screws. Uh, drill me a tiny screw and put the uh, the little screw in there. So, and now it's all ready to go. I can put it back on, put my tension, and be careful with it because <laughs> once you get it really tight and let go, it'll do a job on your finger. These are what they couldn't find. Uh, we found the number, and uh, these are uh, made by Domatic. And we found the number, and Domatic's catalog says these are discontinued. Now that's a 2003 bounder, so it's only 15, uh, I guess 16 years old now, and this is plastic this is not going to last and they quit making them so if you find yourself in this situation where these break and you have nowhere to turn to turn to Home Depot and make yourself a couple or in my case um, I had eight uh, needed eight I have four shades two on each shade um, I needed eight to replace them all, but I had, I already had four new ones on there. 
I, I can't say new, but newer than the, the ones that came with him. So I only needed to make four. And this is really tough material. That's going to last for years, more at least more than 14 years. So uh, that's my tip. I could not not do a video on this. That's that's important. Otherwise, you've got to buy their whole new setup, which is a different mechanism, and uh, probably a hundred or a couple hundred dollars a piece for the shades. So that's it. My tip. Thanks for watching. Thought I'd come out here and show you uh, the progress. There's our shade in place. You see I had uh, four of those that were good. So I used those four. All repainted the color of the RV. There's still a lot of work artwork to do. Me and the wife decided we didn't like the gray that's in between uh, uh, the uh, blue lines. It's a very pretty, it's called a frost something, but it's really gray. Doesn't go well with our carbon metallic. So I ordered some white, bright white to replace that uh, gray with just because it it showed a lot of uh, a sparkle there. You see that carbon metallic? And even though the gray is very pretty, on its own, the two do not go together. So uh, we really liked our old white up against it. So that's what we're going to do. And pretty soon we'll have it uh, all done. Once we get the big parts on, start messing with the cute uh, lines and accents and all the artwork. All right, this is RV Jury signing out. Thanks for watching. Oh, we're also getting a new windshield.